For your health, this year's flu season is the worst it has been in 10 years, and experts say they expect it to stick around longer than usual. So far, eight people have died in Texas, including a 14-year-old from San Antonio. Most of you may be wondering, how could you even get the flu after receiving the vaccine? News 4 San Antonio's Alejandra Guzman joins us now after speaking with doctors at University Hospital and explains why. Local health officials say flu season started a month earlier than usual. In fact, in a span of just one week, 272 people tested positive for the flu at University Hospital. Right now, labs continue running tests to determine which strain is affecting our community. A common sight this time of year, people coughing and sneezing. If they haven't had the flu vaccine, there's still time to get it. It takes about two weeks for it to be active. Doctors want people to get vaccinated as they anticipate the flu to stick around longer than usual. Dr. Jason Bowling says University Hospital started seeing flu patients as early as September, right around the time school started. Since then, the Department of Health and Human Services says 16% of doctor visits have been flu-related. Type A and B are in full swing, but unlike other years, type B is knocking it out of the park. Dr. Bowling says 147 people have been diagnosed with type B strain within just one week. Typically, B strains tend to impact children more than adults. Now, adults still can get very sick with flu B, but children seem to have, be more susceptible to flu B, and adults seem to have a little bit more protection from prior exposure to flu B strains in years past. While doctors want you to get your flu shot, getting one doesn't mean you won't get sick. For the flu B, the match is about 60% in the viruses that the CDC is monitoring right now. <laughs> So if you spike a fever, have a cough, or even a runny nose, it's best to get checked out. Dr. Bowling recommends starting treatment within the first two days to avoid spreading the virus. One of the worst complications you'd worry about is getting a pneumonia or going into respiratory failure where you have trouble breathing and need the assistance of a ventilator or a machine to help you breathe and being admitted to the hospital. Remember to wash your hands regularly, cover your mouth when you cough and sneeze, and if you're sick, stay home. And especially important information for parents, doctors say your child could have the flu even if they're not running a fever. Because the flu affects everyone differently, it's important to get checked out. Back to you.